Oh my gosh, so good. Those balsamic tomatoes are such a good flavor. If you've never tried spaghetti squash, get in your car, go to the grocery store, and get one. What's up guys? Today we are making a roasted tomato and spinach spaghetti squash. I can't believe I got that right the first time. That was impressive. <laughs> spaghetti squash takes in pretty much any flavor you add to it. It's so versatile, but it is a great healthy substitute if you're trying to cut those carbs. Spaghetti squash might become your new best friend. So the first thing we're gonna do with this spaghetti squash is just pop it in the microwave for about five minutes, let it get kind of warm and easy to cut. Okay, so I've got some nice little cherry tomatoes. They're technically petite medley snacking tomatoes. You're gonna take your tomato, just cut it in half like that, and then throw them in a dish. I think I've got enough for our dish for the night. So I've got my tomatoes halved. Um, that is an important thing. Don't be cutting it all weird, half them. Now we're going to just put a little bit of salt on there, roll them around. Okay, now I've got my balsamic vinegar. I'm just gonna put a little bit over it all. I'm gonna have to get the bottom of that pan vinegarized. Okay, and then now, like I was saying, the halving is important. We're gonna put them cut side down, okay? So they blister at the top when they roast. I'm just gonna put a little more and more salt on the top. And since I'm using pepper in my dish later, I'm just gonna do a little bit of pepper. Like I said, these tomatoes are gonna soak up that flavor. They're gonna be a burst of just intensity in your mouth whenever you bite into them. All right, now that we've prepped the tomatoes, I'm gonna get the spaghetti squash out of the microwave. It shouldn't be hot. Now we've got our spaghetti squash. We're gonna find the flat part so when we cut it, it doesn't go rolling on us. There it is. When you cut this spaghetti squash, you're gonna want a good knife with some weight and you wanna try and cut it as flat as possible because we're gonna set them cut side down on the pan. And we wanna try and create a seal if we can so it steams and cooks a little better. Just I'm trying. Ah! <laughs> oh, I was, I was kidding. I was kidding. I think he's afraid the squash is hurting you. I was just kidding. It's okay. No, go, 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 go. All right, so I'm at the core, so perfect. All right, so you see these guts that I was telling you about? We're just gonna remove those, like the pumpkin on October. <laughs> like a pumpkin in October. Just take you a spoon here and just scoop it all out. Now, I don't know if, like pumpkins, you can make spaghetti squash seeds and eat them. Let me know in the comments if you know. All right, get all that stuff out there. Okay, we got our spaghetti squashes cut. I'm going to do just a drizzle. I'm just going to spread it out here on all of the spaghetti squash. And that's just so our seasoning will stay. We're gonna do some salt. Always. Always salt. Y'all know me, go ahead and grab a box of Morton's when you're at the grocery store if you're following my channel. Some pepper. And garlic powder. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, we've got our spaghetti squash cut in half and seasoned. I've got a flat pan here. Um, you can use a shallow dish if you have it, but this is the one I like to use for the spaghetti squash. Also, I've been doing this lately, and I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I feel real crafty doing it. Um, I take a little bit of garlic and I smash it, and then I put it under the spaghetti squash. So it kind of like, like, it's like, uh, what's it called? Aromating it. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but it's not that. Well, the aromatics, hopefully, of the garlic steaming in the spaghetti squash are, are putting garlic in it for me, hopefully. That's what I think is happening. Aromating. They're aromating it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my spaghetti squash in the oven for 45 minutes at 425 degrees. I've got about 20 minutes left on the spaghetti squash, so I'm gonna pop these tomatoes in and they will be ready at about the same time. Yes, beautiful. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. 
Our spaghetti squash has been in the oven at 400 degrees, so I'm gonna get it out now. And remember, I popped those tomatoes in at about 25 minutes left of that 45 minute timer. I've just pulled the spaghetti squash out. I'm gonna be shredding it with my fork in about five to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit. I'll probably flip one over here and you can see how hot they are. That way they can cool it down a little bit more. Are you ready? I'm gonna flip it over. It's gonna... And remember, I put those garlic cloves in there so it probably steamed. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> You're so brave. All right, I'm gonna grab these tomatoes. Oh yeah, those are blistered. Look at those. That's what I was looking for. Before I shred the spaghetti squash, I just wanna make sure I have all my ingredients prepped. It makes things go a lot easier. I've got about three cloves of garlic minced up, a handful of spinach, oh, and two tablespoons of butter, and some salt and pepper. Oh, and Parmesan cheese. I would normally use shredded Parmesan cheese, but I don't have any in my fridge, so I'm going to use grated. And it'll be A-OK. -okay. We could probably manage this now. All right, so I like to just take a dish towel, throw it in there so I can hold it. And do you see that, babe? See how it just kind of mm. shred apart? Very nice. All right, so just kind of throw that in the bowl. See why they call it spaghetti squash now? Just try and get as much as you can out. If I'm cooking for just the two of us, I just use one, but um, if it's four to six people, I would use two, obviously. So satisfying. Nature's spaghetti. Nature's spaghetti, yeah. Try not to work it too much. I had mentioned earlier, you know, if you overcook it, it'll kind of turn mushy. Um, it doesn't take away the flavor, really. It just takes away that texture. And If you've never had spaghetti squash, it's kind of sweet. Um, but other than that, it really just takes in the flavor of what you add to it. So feel free to do some. Sometimes I do um, a garlic parmesan, parsley, you know, a garlic parsley parmesan. All right, first things first, medium, a high medium, not a medium high or a high me, uh, uh, that didn't make any sense. Just a notch above medium towards high. And we're gonna throw those two tablespoons of butter in there. We're warmed up. We've got our three tablespoons of minced garlic. This is up to your discretion. You don't like the garlic, just don't use it. You like a lot of garlic, use a whole bowl. I'm not gonna judge. Influencers in the wild. Oh my God, now you're just showing off. <laughs> So you're gonna cook the garlic for about 30, 45 seconds until you like start really smelling those aromatics. Mmm, they smell so good. We don't wanna burn the garlic, okay? Now we're gonna drop it down to like a medium low heat. Throw in our spinach. And while the spinach is cooking for a minute, I'm gonna just drain these tomatoes into this bowl. You wanna try and get as much liquid as you can out because you can add this liquid later, but if you add too much liquid, it can make your um, noodles kind of mushy too. Once your spinach has started to wilt, we're gonna throw in our tomatoes. Now that our tomatoes and our spinach are pretty much done, our spinach is totally wilted, we're gonna throw in our spaghetti squash. Are you ready, babe? I'm ready. At this point, you can turn your heat all the way down to low, like completely low. We're gonna add that in there. I'm gonna actually not pour it in because there's some juices, and again, I wanna try and keep the juices out if I can for the most part. All right. I'm gonna salt and pepper them. Do some cheese. I'm gonna toss that one more time, get that cheese kinda in there. There it is, I'm gonna give it a taste and see if it needs any more salt and pepper. I'm definitely gonna put more cheese on the top and then I'll plate it. Ooh, those tomatoes are bursting with flavor. Mm, okay, yeah, it's great. And a little more salt, definitely some more cheese. And there we go. A healthy substitution to spinach and tomato pasta. You've got spinach and tomato spaghetti squash. And it's delicious. 
No, but really, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around. If you made it to the end of this video, you get a gold star. And so do I. Peace out. I'm having the time of my life.